to uh, give me your give me your game plan. What do you think they need to do in order to get W in Madison this weekend? Yeah, no, as you said, I think this is where the season really, you know, so-called starts. I think we thought uh, Washington was going to be a little more formidable than they were, um, and that and that didn't happen. So we didn't get a real test there like we, you know, had thought all summer. So this is kind of really where it starts. You know, it's uh, 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 we started the Big Ten schedule last week with Rutgers, but this is kind of, a, you know, old-school Big Ten game, a real Big Ten game is with uh, Wisconsin coming. Uh, they coming off a loss, too, to Notre Dame. Uh, I think they played at Soldier Field last week. Uh, they got – they lost – didn't look all that hot uh, in the game. So I think they're going to obviously come fired up as well. So I think this is going to be an interesting game with all that cooking, um, you know, heading into the game. But I say, uh, if you ask me what the game plan is, we uh, absolutely have to uh, open the playbook up a little bit. I, I think I want to keep – I like establishing a run. And then obviously if we can go in there and rush for 300 yards on them, then, I, you know, that would be phenomenal. And we – but I just can't see that happening. So I would say I think we're going to have to make it interesting. We're going to have to uh, mix in good good runs like we have been doing, but also, uh, uh, you know, Henning coming around on the end, uh, on the wide receiver reverse, or maybe a double reverse. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, uh, you know, make it interesting, throw in uh, some more screen plays personally. I just think, you know, you, we got to get more of an uh, offensive rhythm going uh, outside of just trying to play smash mouth football, which I we see already – how that worked playing a, a big 10 team in Rutgers that it just didn't where I think we may have cracked a hundred yards rushing. You know, I'm not even sure about that. So, yeah. uh, you know, 115, 120. Yeah. yeah. So oh. it, didn't, it didn't work as well as it had been. And I can guarantee that Wisconsin is going to be a lot more tough uh, defensively than Rutgers was. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Open it up a little bit. Uh, um, and, and maybe we'll catch them off guard offensively because we haven't shown that yet. Right. Do you think they trust K? I just – I feel like – so I'm looking at these games, and I know, you know, obviously the run's been working, so, like, you know, why go away from it? I just – when they do throw, I mean, it's just not very – you know, obviously airing it out against some of those, like, MAC teams and some of them, like, teams that weren't – didn't belong in the field with Michigan, but I just feel like they're kind of, like, not really trusting them all that much. Am I wrong? Or, like, what do you think? Yeah, um, I guess it would be not trusting them, him. I think it's it's kind of um, – quarterback has shot us in the foot so many times. Uh, yeah. Whether it was last year or uh, Shea Patterson having his up and downs or, you know, whoever it was we walked. And I think if they can try to avoid a, a, the quarterback mistake and, and just run the ball, I think that's kind of what they're thinking. Uh, yeah. But ultimately that can come back to, to haunt you when your quarterback isn't ready when he has to be able to step back and, and throw it or when yeah. – He's having to throw more than like 15, 17 passes in a game. What's going to happen when we just can't run the ball? Um, he's going to have to step back and throw it 25, 30 times. Right. And, and I think we, we should have prepared him a little more in those early games um, and maybe not just try to get such impressive rushing stats and maybe try to uh, push him along as far as offensively uh, being able to step back and throw it. But. Right. What, yeah. what, what what would you say some of your keys are, whether it's offense or defense for us? Um, I think, you know, so this is a tough one. You got Wisconsin coming off a pretty bad loss. You know, I and I'm gonna say I always feel like this is the second time this season already that Harbaugh would have an opportunity to beat a top twenty five team and then they kinda <laughs> shit the bed the weekend before, so now they're unranked. So that's some that's another conversation for another day. But uh I think just kinda like I guess I earlier they're I don't really know who they are, like what they are. You know, they lost to a Penn State team that is like top five now um, in the country, if I'm not mistaken, at least top 10. You know, they kind of got, you know, they got beat down pretty nice uh, by Notre Dame. Notre Dame also only beat a Florida State team that's 0-3. They struggled with a Toledo, like a Mac school Toledo. And they also kind of struggle with Penn State, or not Penn State, I'm sorry, uh, Purdue. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's really kind of like a toss up. I just, only thing that kind of concerns me is like being up in Madison. I'm glad it's not like a crazy night game where it'll just be like rocking like out of control. It's still gonna be a pretty hostile environment. I think the key for them is just, you know, I think it's gonna start on the defensive side of the ball. At least for me personally, they gotta come out there and so far this year they've been bend but don't break. You know, been doing a great job of forcing turnovers, stopping the run for the most part. Uh, I think they gotta, you know, those those corners gotta be um, you know, ready. I think because we know what Wisconsin's gonna do. They're gonna run the ball a lot. So we got to make them uncomfortable by 
um, getting him in those second and long, third and long positions and making that guy, Graham Mertz, who threw four interceptions last week, uh, we got to make him do some of that, you know, uh, again. So we got to just make sure we're not letting that, you know, let, let, let me get the run game get going. That's usually what was constantly done to us the last couple of years. They beat down on us pretty bad. They've ran the ball 250, 300 yards, both the last uh, couple of games. We lost to them pretty bad. So I just think that is what we need to do on defense and offense. I mean, I'm right there with you. We got to open it up more. You know, <clears throat> I think we got to, you know, establish the run and use play action to our advantage. Um, and we do have to definitely keep them honest. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Harbaugh is kind of – I feel like he's been known for just taking a shot early, you know, trying to just test the defense, see what they're looking at, see what they're doing. Um, and I just hope that you – know, we're already kind of thin at receivers. So, I hope that some of them guys can make some big-time plays this week. So, we'll uh, we'll see. Um, what's your uh, score prediction? Yeah, uh, real quick, do you know if Ross is playing? Uh, linebacker? Uh, uh, I don't know. I saw he had a shoulder issue. I'm not sure if he's playing or not, though. I think that would be a major, you know – uh, wrinkle yeah. in, in what our whole defense can do. You know, uh, a guy that's a guy, he's got to be a, a, a senior <laughs> now. Uh, yeah. Uh, removing him from the equation is going to make that anchor, that defense, I would say, one of the anchors, uh, definitely from the linebacker's perspective, uh, a hell of a lot harder for us to come out there and fill them holes. And, and, and right. you know, that, you know, that's going to be tough. But, um, you know, I am going to, I guess I am going to go out and predict us the win, but I would say it's probably going to be a little bit of a, a sloppy win. I'll go like 21-17, Michigan. Okay. Yeah. I'm a, <clears throat> I don't know if you watched that Wisconsin game last week. They looked really bad. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing, but I, I watched the first half 100%. They, they both yeah. didn't look great the first half, but I, I see yeah. it. Um, yeah. So they – I mean, I'm probably – I'm gonna say like 24. What's that? 24-13, Michigan. 